7,100 acres burned and 300 more homes evacuated tonight because of the 416 wildfire. It's burning just north of Durango, where everyone seems to remember another devastating fire with almost the exact same weather conditions. And there was fear of weather could make this fire worse over the weekend. Our Liz Gillardi went inside the evacuation zone and uh, Liz joins us live. Liz. Well, and we are here at the roadblock where Highway 550 is closed, but earlier today we had a chance to go beyond that barricade and see some of the amazing work that firefighters are doing. I can tell you this afternoon the wind really picked up and smoke just filled this area. Also, a couple hours ago, we learned that the fire crossed Hermosa Creek. That is troubling news because it's an area where firefighters have been working to protect homes. The helicopters and airplanes seem to be almost constant. It's not stopping the fire, it's just delaying the fire. Anything to slow this fire down, giving firefighters time to do controlled burns and cut brush, getting ready for what could be a taxing weekend. We're actually extremely challenged with the uh, predicted weather coming in. It's not what people want to hear, and that's why the call was made to evacuate another 300 homes on top of the evacuations from Thursday. Well, the fire that we saw last night, I've never seen anything like that before, the way it was coming down the hill right up behind the gas station there. I'm, I live right there, so we were pretty freaked out last night. Oh, man. We saw the fire intensify, and then the wind picked up this afternoon. The fire has come dangerously close to homes and the highway. Extremely dry weather is fueling this fire, bringing back memories. These guys' grandparents' house is over on the ridge on the other side there and were threatened by Missionary Ridge 16 years ago. Fire officials say the conditions are just as dry as the devastating Missionary Ridge fire in 2002 that burned 70-some thousand acres and destroyed more than 40 houses.